get left behind. It's Suzanne Shaw and Matt Evers. <laughs> So out of a total of 32.5. We can't seem to shake that number five spot, can we? Didn't play spot. I missed a lot of that excitement and you raising your own personal bar. I try my best and we just need to move up. The leaderboard. <laughs> the leaderboard. Land, release, Matt will catch your leg and pull out. <laughs> It's been a little bit frustrating not quite getting the scores I've wanted to get. It is kind of fighting for it now. Yes, good girl. So this week, Suzanne has been given an amazing routine, but we need to see emotion, we need to see the strength, but we need to see it done correctly. If it works, it works, but if it, if it doesn't, doesn't, you can come off it. That was it. Yeah. And turn. I just feel like I really need to prove that I am a competitor for that final. This week, we've ticked all the boxes. The technical elements are there, the performance level is there, the story is there. So you're gonna get a 10? Like you should do every week? <laughs> <laughs> if it's clean, yes. Yeah, if it's clean, there's a potential 10 in there somewhere. Cheers. 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 Yeah, just win it. No pressure. Skating to Black Velvet, it's Suzanne and Matt. Well, that was some comeback. She had trouble in rehearsal. She fell in the warm-up. But looking really good there. She's going to move up from fifth spot, where she has been the last few weeks. Here's the engagingly titled Who Were Misses? Hippie. Then the Black Velvet Drop. And she finished with the sultry Suzanne sequence. Here are the judges' scores. Karen. Ten. Nikki. Nine. Ashley. Nine. Jason. Nine. They're in the lead with 37. Well done, Suzanne. Her highest score of the series so far. Oh. Karen, I have to come to you with yeah, a beautiful two. ten. And it was well earned, and I felt all of that I'm sure everybody here did as well I was waiting for that performance to come together I loved it it was brilliant for me thank you brilliant for Karen was it brilliant for you Nikki it was uh, again the artistic side you two are amazing together it was very steamy it is after the watershed I've got my young son here I might have to talk to him afterwards and <laughs> settle him down I'm sure but a beautiful performance and you did a lovely three turn at speed with attack and you were skating for yourself as well so super well done okay thank you I'm Ashley yeah babe I was nervous from earlier because we had a little few bumps in rehearsal but you came out there sultry and sexy and sizzling and yes and <laughs> Matt, too, you were giving some of the smoke <laughs> as well. You were feeling it. <laughs> we 
Are you feeling it as well, Jason? Well, this is Suzanne back in the race. <laughs> Good girl. It all came together for you tonight, darling. You know, it, you had your technical elements married beautifully with your choreographic interpretation. You were committed. I felt every nuance there. The thing for me is just watch some of your landings, particularly out of, I think we're calling it the black velvet drop. It was just a little bit unsightly. Just smoothen those things out and you're going to get tens. <laughs> That was very sultry for five to seven. Uh, yeah, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I absolutely love that routine. Um, it's been my favourite routine so far. Um, I love performing it with you. And I just, yeah, I'm just so happy with the result. I'm so happy that we got to do the skating element along with the, the lyrical contemporary mm. sultry piece. And a ten. And a ten! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> What do you think? Well deserved. I mean, we took on board the comments from last week and we decided when we choreographed this to make it difficult. Um, but there was a great storyline and you acted it out perfectly and it didn't interfere with the skating and all the difficulties. So for me, it's just a favourite routine that you've ever done. Well done. If you thought Suzanne's black velvet was silky smooth, then vote for her when the lines open at the end of the show. It's Suzanne and Matt.